This Nintendo Switch is an unusual games console because it does a couple of different things. Firstly, it's a portable machine. It's got this tablet-like touchscreen with a 720p resolution. It can be played out and about and on the move. Then, when it docks with this little station here, like Mario, after he's chowed down on those power-boosting mushrooms, it supercharges the machine's graphics capabilities all the way up to 1080p, full HD, and it can be played using a normal television, becoming a home console. The controllers, which Nintendo has dubbed Joy-Cons, can slide off the side of the portable unit, and they can be configured in a couple of different ways. The individual Joy-Con parts can be used for multiplayer, and when it's docked, the player can use a separate controller or plug the Joy-Cons into a battery pack, turning them into this beast. Now, the Joy-Cons have got a number of different motion control features, which can be demonstrated in this mini-game here. It's called Quick Draw, and weirdly, what it does is it pulls the player away from the screen and towards one another. So, to that end, I have a cowboy opponent here, and we're going to have a shootout. So, let's load our weapons, get ready. This is where you get your best Clint Eastwood on. and I live to fight another day. But what that ably shows is that the Switch's designers are thinking very differently about the kind of games that can be played using this device. As far as games are concerned, in the works is a new title for the portly Italian plumber, the real-world set Super Mario Odyssey, and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Nintendo's last console, the Wii U, had a bunch of issues from day one. A lot of gamers thought it was just a an additional controller for their already Wii console, where in fact it was a brand new console. Now with the Switch, I believe Nintendo have got the same sort of issue again, but this time they really have to nail down the th third party support and getting more of the core gamer back on board of their product. Perhaps the biggest hurdle for the Switch is its price. At £279, the Switch might have a tough time against its rivals from Microsoft and Sony. We'll find out when it's released on March the 3rd.